guys it's your girl Tori and I'm here with another video and today's video is gonna be my skincare routine so my skincare routine is not like super complicated it's actually easy it's all drugstore products but I just wanted to throw this fact out there that you know what may work for my skin may not work for your skin so I don't want you guys to feel like if you buy these products they're just guaranteed to work Everybody face reacts differently to products, and I don't want you guys to feel as if I made you buy something that won't work. These are just some of the things that works for me, so I'm just going to show you guys what I use. And I'm going to show you my routine, like when I wash my face and how I use the products in what order. And then I'm going to go ahead and rate the products, but during this video, the, um, the prices of the products will be listed. And I'll try my best to put a link in the description box for each product. But basically, all these products come from Walmart. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the first one is... I have the L'Oreal. Um, this is my toner. It's the Hydrating Fresh Toner. It's alcohol-free. It's... You guys, this smells like roses. Like, it really does smell really good. So, I'm actually in, quite in love with this product. Um... I this is my first one like this is the first thing I use on my face when I oh just a basically a toner for me is to remove all the dirt off my face and that's what it does so the next product is my Noxzema it's the ultimate clear daily deep pore cleanser oil oil free cleanser yeah so this is like I said, all my products come from Walmart. This is by far my favorite because I got this from off of another YouTuber's video when I was watching, and I was switching from using black soap to using this, and it actually worked really good. I didn't have any breakouts in between transitioning from product, but like again, like I haven't said, I'm gonna go ahead and say this my face does not break out as bad, like, I do not get um real acne, I can say. But my face does have dark spots here and there. And um, being that where I live, there's we have mosquitoes really bad out here. So mosquitoes may bite me in my face and I might like scratch it and it becomes a scab and I leave, get dark spots. But this has been helping me, you know. So I highly recommend this. This works like wonders, you guys. I love this product by far. So my next one is the Clean and Clear, the Lemon Zesty Scrub. Um... It has it's oil free and it has vitamin C in it. I only use this product at night due to the fact that my face, like I said, my face doesn't really break out, so there's no need for, there's no need for me to use it two times a day. So I really like using it at night to know my face is really clean before I go to sleep and lay my head down on my pillow. So yeah, and another tip also, you guys, while I'm speaking of my pillow, I wash my pillows and I wash the you know. The covering of the pillow i wash my pillows at least two times two 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 times a month because what you guys don't know is most of your face your face can easily break out from the dirt that you leave or if you don't wash your face at night the dirt that comes off of your face at night goes onto your pillow and if you're just a person that doesn't wash their face at night you continue to lay your head on a dirty pillow your face is most likely going to start breaking out from what's on your pillow so i wash my pillow and i wash the pillow covering so yeah <laughs> the next one is the revitalizing rose mist this product i use a lot um it's i guess you can say yeah it okay it has yeah i just wanted to make sure it was rose but i use this um a lot it only comes after i uh wash my face and I use this, but I wouldn't recommend using that and just like going, continuing off about your day. Like I know some females use the Mario Badesio spray. I hope I said his name right, but I know they use that spray. I know with his spray, you can just spray it and leave. This spray actually, I um, not really a complaint about it. It just leaves a sticky residue on your face. So you would need a moisturizer to walk off and continue on because you will feel the residue from the spray onto your face. It's not really a big deal for me because I do moisturize my face, but for a person that may not, you know, moisturize their face, that's a um that's this is a big no for them. But the next thing I use is my Cetaphil and this is my moisturizing lotion. 
You guys, I do not know what the big one is. So I only have the small. I only have the small one right now. And this is actually quite empty. But I use my Cetaphil. This is just one a one out of a one moisturizer. I use another one, but this is usually um if I just rinse my face, I'll just throw this on and keep and then go on by my day. But I really love this product. No bad complaints about it since I've been using it. I really like it and it works for my skin. So next we have my Jergens face cream. Um this actually really works good. It's a deep cleansing softening moisturizer. I actually love this product. Been loving it since I bought it. Been loving it since I've been using. Like this product works wonders and I have no bad complaints about it. Like I love it. That's all to it. So many people have been asking me, oh, how do you get your teeth so white? And you know, so since I'm giving you guys my skincare routine, might as well go ahead and show you what I use. When I brush my teeth, I use the Hello. And this is the activated charcoal uh, toothpaste. It's the Epic Whitening Fluoride Free Toothpaste. Um, Like I said, when I bought this, they weren't selling it at Walmart. But since I have been to Walmart over the times, they um I have seen this in Walmart. So it is, um you can purchase this from Walmart. And most likely when I list this product and list the price, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you the Walmart price for it because... I don't, don't know, I actually don't even remember the price I used. I mean, I got this for at TJ Maxx, but that's where I bought this from. So, yeah. But that's all the products that I use when I'm washing my face. So, now I'm just going to give you guys the rundown on me washing my face and show you the routine. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my toner. And what I use when I um use my toner is a cotton round. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror as I'm doing this, you guys. So. I usually use two, but today it's not that bad. So that's all, literally all I do is just go on my face and wipe around. As you can see, like I have dark spots right in here. Like, it's not that bad, you guys. Not nothing you girl can't work with. So now we're gonna go in with my Noxzema and I'm gonna tell you guys, you do not need a lot of this. Like, I only use about this much and that's not even a lot, I don't know. It looks like a lot on my hands right now, but. I don't use a lot of it. This is one of those products you want to let sit in your sit on your face for at least three to two minutes. But me, I'm not for the sake of this video. I'm not gonna leave it on that long because. And I already moisturized it into my face. See, love, I act, y'all, I really love this product. Like, I haven't had no bad complaints about it. None. Love it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it off. see sorry y'all i was looking at my show in the mirror so i'm trying to get all the soap off but yeah see like look at that It works really good. 
so for like i said for the sake of this video i'm just gonna show you guys my lemon zesty scrub because today it's really not nighttime right now but i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys so for this you do not need a lot like i'm telling y'all then the pump comes out with a lot on x but you need like about this much because i do not use a lot of this This is one of those scrubs where you can actually feel the lemon in it and it starts to tingle. Yeah, so. And I go in. And like I said, this is another one you want to let sit. You're going to uh, feel this when it's time to come off. You might also feel it with the Noxzema also. I think when I had my Noxzema on and I let it sit, I let it sit for too long. And that's why it started burning. But you're going to be able to feel when the um, the clean and clear is telling you, hey, you know, you should take it off because it's going to start tingling. But I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. And I do not, um, that might be another thing y'all might see. I do not rub my face when I take the towel. Like, I just gently pat around my face. Because I think another thing is how rough you move your towel across your face or anything you dry your face with. But I don't. I don't rub it. So next we're going to take our spray. But see, I'm just going to hand dry it right quick. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our setter fill. Oh! I did not use a lot of this. Don't even use the much I got on my hand, but I apply it to my forehead. In my cheeks a little there. And then under my neck. Ew, there's a bead still from that scrub on my face. See? Now, for the last product, because you guys, I already brushed my teeth, so I'm not going to use my Hello in this video, but um, now we're going to go in with my Joy Clean. This is one of those products you do not need a lot of it. Like, maybe probably. Because I do not use a lot. Oops, that's a lot. Look at that. I'm going to give you guys an up close. Let me show y'all. Because, baby, this skin is booming. Let me show you guys. Bro, y'all can't tell me y'all don't love it here. Like, what? <laughs> but, um, that's what, that's basically all I do for my face. 
Yep, so now I'm just going to go through and rate the products like you guys. So let me show you. So what we're going to... We're going to go ahead and give my toner a big old five because hands down, I never have no problems with this product. Like, I've been loving it since I've been using it. And, yeah, this is better than um any any toner I've ever had. Like, this, this one does not burn at all. I actually love it. So, next, my Noxzema is a five. And, I, like I said, you guys, I highly recommend this. I love it. I no bad complaints about my Noxzema, but I love it. Um, let's see. My Clean and Clear, uh, I would give this a... We're going to go ahead and give it a three just because I don't like the fact that when you wash your face with this, sometimes you don't, like, if you're not all, like, sitting there soaking your face away, you won't get all of the, uh, the seeds out of it. And... Also, it it tends to burn sometimes when I apply it, but it's not it's not a bad product. I just wouldn't like I would prefer it not to burn as much as it does. But now with this, like I said, this is another three because I don't like the fact that it gives you the sticky residue. Like I don't like the feeling it gives me uh on my face, but it works. So, no bad complaints. So, my set of fill, we're going to give this a 4 out of 5 just because this is not my, um, this is not one of the best moisturizers I've used. But like I said, I haven't had no um complaints about this one. But, yeah, we're going to give this a 4 out of 5. And my Dragons is a... Uh, five star product you guys i love this product and i highly recommend this like if not anything out of this this works the best i love this product you guys love it so and then my hello i'm gonna give this a five because ever since i've been using it i have the best results from this product Here. Ever since I've been using this, I've had the best results from this product. So, there's been no bad complaints about it. I love this product. You guys love it. So, that is it for this YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys use some of the um products that I recommended for you guys to use. Like, I love it. And, I, as you can see. But, um, like I said, I hope you guys use it. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be posting soon, you guys. Just got to work with me. But bye.